All right, so I bought this copy of Sonic Riders for PS2 for $17.25. And obviously, I'm going to test that out and play it. Now, interesting fact, real quick. This game is the reason I got my PS2 in the first place. Because I found out that the PS3, model PS3 we have, it can't play PS2 games. Unless, you know, you play them digitally, but yeah. So that sucks. But, hey, I got my PS2 so I could play it. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it was just going to be sitting. It's just going to be sitting. Now, this is, in fact, complete in box. So it's obviously the case, the game, and the manual. I'm going to open it up. Yeah, it's got the manual right here. Pretty good condition manual. I mean, not the best condition, but it's it's fine. And got the disc. I'm seeing some slight scratches, but hey, that's why I make these videos, right? Make to see if they actually work. So yeah, let's let's pop this into the PS2, and we'll get to testing it. Alright, so I'm closing the disc tray, or the disc drive, I should say, and yeah, the disc is perfect, it read it. Now, let's see how well it works. Now, I'm going to be doing two races here to test this video out, but to test this game out, and yeah, just got to wait for it to play. Oh, awesome. Created game data, perfect. Okay, so, it worked. Unlike Sonic Rider, I'm not, I'm obviously playing Sonic Rider, but unlike Sonic Heroes, where it throws in the intro cutscene and the Team Chaotix cutscenes at so far in my playthrough of that, the audio does not work. I figured it, found it, I know the reason why the game does that. It's just an it's just issue with the PS2 version. So it's not the game disc it's, or the console itself. It's just an issue with the PS2 version itself. 
So yeah, I'm obviously going to go normal rate free race. Again, I'm going to be playing just two races in this game. Obviously, we're going to be playing one with Sonic. And I'm going to be doing Sand Ruins with Wave after this one. I have never played the PS2 version, so I'm just going to go based off Instinct on controls. Bring it on. All right. Yep. It controls exactly as I thought. It controls exactly as I thought. Perfect. Not that great with the tricks, but you know what? I wasn't that great with the tricks in the GameCube version either. I also looked up the diff console differences between the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC versions of the game. Yes, this was released on PC as well. And one issue with the PS2 version over the PS that wasn't present, like the GameCube version, was, you know, the... Particle effects and stuff like that, like there, that I don't remember that being present in the GameCube version. Perfect. But yeah, other than, you know, the particle effects and the character models, for, that's really the only, like, downside to the PS2 version from what I read. So, yeah. Other than that, like, the game works perfectly fine. And the reason why the particle effects and stuff like that are, like, quote-unquote bad is to keep the game running at 60 FPS. So, yeah. Pull up. It's, again, it's been like so many years since I played this, and that was when, and I played this on P on the GameCube version. So, yeah.
Oh, good. I thought I was gonna be. I thought I was gonna fuck up. Yeah, this r top route right here is why I chose Wave. Like, I could've chose Tails, but I hate Tails. And besides, Sonic and Wave are my two favorite Sonic characters. Sonic being my favorite male character, and Wave being my favorite female character, so... Yeah, of course I'm gonna use my two favorite characters in the test video. But yeah, seems to be running perfectly. And yep. Perfect. The game seems to be running great. Now I guess all that's really left to see is Can the cutscene do the cutscenes run? Do the cutscenes run? And how good do they run? Yeah, that's all we're really testing. See <laughs> why I started Grand Prix. Because we wanted to see how well the cutscenes play. But yeah, this one seems to work. See how well, because we get another cutscene with the in-game models and everything. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it works. It absolutely works. Awesome. Works perfectly. All right, so Sonic Riders on the PS2. Came in, complete in box like I ordered. Game works great, cutscenes, gameplay, everything works perfectly. And honestly, so, yeah, game is exactly how, what I ordered, which, uh, and it works perfect from what I've tested so far, but yeah. Again, this this game right here is the reason why I decided to get the PS2. Because I had ordered this actually the night before I ordered my PS... Before I got my PS2. Because... And honestly, I'm glad I got it because... Because the PS3 we have isn't backwards compatible with PS2 games. Had I not ordered this game and found that out... I would probably never gotten my PS2. And honestly, I'm glad I did order this. But yeah. Oh, Muffin's cleaning herself. In my dresser d drawer. Hey, Muffin, get out of there. But yeah, again, honestly. Absolutely worth the $17.25 that was paid for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some more of this. Probably play through like the Heroes and Babylon story.
That way I get like all the unlocks and the unlocks and everything out of the way because yeah. Gonna take more time if Yeah. But yeah, you can expect me to play at least the heroes, play probably the entire hero story tomorrow instead of like Sonic Heroes tomorrow or something. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm really glad I got this game.